All right, one quick jump before my camera dies. Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you for showing out, bringing the energy, and bringing the vibe to the channel once again. I appreciate you guys, and if you're new, my name is Jeroy. So for today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna take y'all through an athletic workout. It's my favorite style of training. Now, earlier in the week, I do my strength training and my hypertrophy, my high volume stuff, and my one to six rep stuff. That way I can put on some muscle mass and also get stronger. But being an athlete, being an athlete my whole entire life, this is my favorite. I love the intensity, I love to jump, I love to run. This is when I really feel that inner child, okay? Training like an athlete. And there's so many different things you could work on when you're training like an athlete. It could be explosiveness, it could be stability, quickness, agility, balance, so many different things when it comes to training like an athlete. So I like to work on these things towards the end of the week. And with athletic training, everything I have learned is from experience, whether it was getting ready for college basketball, working with my old strength coach, Ken, or my AAU coach, Uncle Kenny, or my recent coach, Josh Swan, working on athletic performance, or just my own specialized knowledge, watching videos like this on YouTube, or reading books, anything that had to do with athletic performance, I learned all of it from experience, actually getting out there and doing it myself and seeing how it works for me. So I'm gonna head to the gym in like 20 minutes and I'm gonna do a real quick warm up here. It's what I love to do just to prepare my body, warm up my joints and stuff before I actually get to the gym. So let's get started. So today being my fifth day of training, my third lower body day for the week, you have to do the things necessary outside of the gym so that you can keep on going. And that's why I love that I'm creating this video is because we see all these professional athletes, but you only see so much of what they do rehab wise to take care of their body so that they can keep performing, right? And I wanna be able to show you guys that. So that's why I do things necessary like using the massage gun or using the foam roller, or using resistance band to help me stretch out, right? So that your boy can keep putting in that work. I got my fluids right here you always got to make sure you're staying hydrated of course to get those electrolytes in the bcas whatever i got my water right here okay gotta stay hydrated with the water not vegan water but water and then we have body armor some of you guys know i love to drink my body armor i prefer it over the gatorade you get those fast acting carbs for that energy superior hydration electrolyte the mental part the mind part is just as important as the body you got to train the mind and train the body okay so i'm gonna pack my bag and then i will see you guys over at the gym <music> All right, guys, just touched down at the gym. Excited, excited for this workout. I'm gonna be warming up. Wait, first, I got some tunes bumping. If you wanna check out my Spotify playlist, Droid Gym, you can check it out. Some of the music I'll be listening to today will be on there, but I'm gonna be warming up with a dynamic warm up, okay? So you can do your stationary warm up where you're just getting deep into the stretches. This is gonna be more of an athletic warm up. You would see people that play sports, football, basketball doing this while warming up. I'm gonna be doing movements going forward and going backwards working up a little swag, getting nice and loose and get ready to go. So uh, let's get started. Hey.
dynamic warm up is done. Now for the athletic performance workout. The workout is on the screen right here. I like to start my athletic days either with some jump ropes, some skips, or a bike ride for like five to 10 minutes, or treadmill sprints. I'll do intervals of that, maybe 30 seconds on the highest speed, maybe a minute on the highest speed. I just like to switch it up. So I'm gonna be doing five minutes on the bike. I'm over here on the basketball court. Too bad the courts aren't open yet. The net is not here, but soon I'll be on the basketball court handing out buckets, you know what I'm saying? But five minutes on the bike to start this workout. Let's get it. Now we're gonna move on to some box squats. As you guys can see, I got the box set up right there. Got the bar bell right there. This is a great variation of squat, especially for athletes. It's not too vigorous on the joints or anything like that, but on the way down, you wanna control and feel that tension on the quads, on the glutes, on the hamstrings. And on the way up, you wanna explode and be explosive like an athlete. So let's get into it. Also with these box squats, you wanna keep the rep range like six to eight. You don't need to do 10 to 12 reps. We're not chasing hypertrophy here or a lot of volume. We're really just going for strength and power so that we can be as explosive as we can as an athlete. All right, so moving on. Next, I'm gonna be doing two body weight movements. The first body weight movement is going to be explosive push-ups. So I'm gonna be pushing, doing a push-up on the floor onto the two boxes. You guys will see that'll really build, help you build some good push strength. And then I'm gonna superset it with some pull-ups into weighted pull-ups. The workout just got funner. We're about to do some box jumps, but not just any box jumps, depth box jumps. So what I'm gonna be doing is jumping off this low surface, landing on the ground nice and quick, and then jumping right onto the next box. This is gonna help you be nice and explosive quick off of the ground. I love these so much. All right, back at the basketball courts and I'm gonna wrap up this workout with doing some lunges and reverse lunges from that end of the basketball court to this end. You always wanna work your legs in different directions, you know, uh, laterally, linear. It's so important, especially as an athlete because you move in so many different directions. So forward lunge, backward lunge, let's go. All right, 
one quick jump before my camera dies. Fell off. All right, y'all. So back at the crib, what I'm about to do is make myself a post workout smoothie, get those nutritional benefits in I need after an intense workout. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to drop a like, share it with some people that may need an athletic workout or just an intense workout in their life. This is a great way to burn some fat, also to put on some muscle and improve your athletic ability, okay? I love these type of workouts because it's so much fun. Like I said, it brings out that inner child in me. But if you guys made it to the end and family, make sure to comment E. N D in the comment section. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And what I think I'm going to do is start doing like more athletic workouts, like kind of like making like a small series out of it while filming so many other videos at the same time. So like athletic workout part one, two, three, four. Let me know what you guys think, okay? But as always, stay true to self and I will see y'all in the next one. I'm out.